Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Evangelist, still plugging away at making a Feral Rex video and taking a quick aside as a review copy of these things showed up from Big Bad Toy Store. So I'm gonna take a big bad look at Crazy Debbie's big bad reaction to the big bad Predator King called Feral Rex. These are the CDMW-39, the King's Power Parts Plated Wings. These are basically chrome-plated wings to replace the not chrome-plated wings on Feral Rex. That being specifically the parts with the feathers on them. So these are shiny and uh, to get them on you've got to remove three screws. You gotta do this twice. You gotta remove three screws from one of the orange casings, lift it, and then swap the parts. Then do it again on the other side. The thing is there are a few more parts in there than you might think. There are a pair of little black rings that you also have to get out of there. Those things seem to be uh, tension rings, I believe is what Pia called them. Uh, the Crazy Devi stuff does not have them at all. It does not take into account their presence. And if you leave them in there, then the thing won't go back together. So get them out of there. Get the old black wing part with the feathers on it out of there and put the new Crazy Devi one in. I have stopped halfway to do a little bit of comparisoning between, uh, you know, the original side and the chrome side. So the original side, from what I saw while I was uh, ripping this thing apart over here, this has a little bit of a soft detenting to it, a very soft detenting. But there are detent nub holes in here, well, like more like dents in there. And uh, these tension rings, the sides that press against the orange bit have got two very small little nubs on them. So there is a super soft detenting that I think helps lock the wings into place. Crazy Devi ones absolutely do not have any kind of nubs whatsoever. They're dead smooth over there. So this, it's still really tight because it's just being sandwiched in there, but that's all friction. Uh, it might be a little overly tight because I'm not sure if I, if I did the screws a bit too much, but it, it's rigid. Uh, but it also shows a lack of understanding to the actual engineering of the toy that's being upgraded, I think? Unless they thought that the, you know, taking advantage of the small detents was like, wussy or something? <clears throat> there are a few other uh, differences here. This is getting into some sick garbage minutiae, but it's worth bringing up. Uh, if we compare these things, number one, on the original wings, you see how this feather can go up that tightly? But these ones all go up and there's a gap, but this one doesn't have a gap. Well, you could fix it by doing that, right? Or you could just buy a whole new set of wings where this one can't actually go up there. Like, I'm pushing and pushing. It's maintaining a gap here that this one can close up and, and cause an uneven look or something. So that's one change. And here's another even weirder change. Uh, you see on the sculpting here how there's, uh, on this surface right here, and up here and here, like, you know, there, it's an even tapered edge even tapered edge here it's a deeper tapered edge because over here it's gone so this this tapered edge is unlike those two tapered edges and here there is none well over here uh there is none down here but there's there's no deeper tapered edge here this taper is the same as that one and that one so that's different i don't understand why that was modified uh it's sort of taking away the slight tapering effect that leads down to there being uh no sticky outy bit down here but anyway that and that uh this doesn't close up all the way and the deeper taper is gone there also there are fingerprints everywhere because this is uh vac metal chrome anyway i'm gonna put the other uh wing on then we'll get back to talking about how these look ta-da so there's some gold wings uh should you get these i don't know do you like chrome uh, let me speak for myself. I think these things look super tacky, but I know there is an audience out there who likes vac metal chrome I mean the collectors love chrome look at leader Jetfire. That's why he got it So if you're someone out there who wants to get chrome on their feral Rex and you don't want to use stickers to do it This is a solution uh, If you feel that feral Rex was missing chrome on his wings This is your solution the only real positive thing I've got to say about this for my own taste is at least this is up near those inexplicably vac metal chromed black cannons, so I guess these have some visual interplay with those. Nonetheless, uh, I just don't care for how these look. I think the painted gold is far more in tune with my own taste, and I'm gonna be getting these off of here as soon as I'm done filming. You know, on the bright side, these things can't damage the existing Feral Rex parts, as far as I can tell, unless you leave those tension rings in, but it's not like they can shred up any stickers. There are no stickers to shred. It's not like they can crack any parts. They do fit the pegs that they are supposed to fit into quite well. I'd say the two biggest pros about these wings are A, they are chromed if you wanted them to be chromed, and B, they won't wreck your Feral Rex. 
Addendum to A, if you bought these and didn't want them to be chromed, like literally, who are you? You can see what Feral Rex looks like with these on. I've shown you some little physical differences. Uh, if you think these things are worth 40 bucks at basic online retail, unless they go on sale, then you know what? There you go. Your solution is there, and it's it's at hand. As for the rest of you guys, or maybe those of you who are into the Chrome, there's only one other thing that those of us not into Chrome would want to know, which is, does the Vac Metal Chrome and lack of use of those soft detents allow these wings to actually fly? So uh, we're going to do a little flight test here. I'm going to see if I can uh, back up a little bit more. And let, you know what? Maybe maybe there's some aerodynamic qualities to this vac metal chrome that I don't know about. And we're going to have a, like a Dumbo moment of magic here. Arc these out a bit for maximum aerodynamicy. And away we go! Well, um, you know, maybe I shouldn't have arced the wings. I put them at a slight curve and then... Uh, uh, alright, baby. It's time to fly! It's time to f fly! F fly! Whoop. Maybe if I use it like a boomerang. Uh, let's go back a little bit farther here. Uh, get all, um, good day, mate. Dingo, dingo, good day. And... Knifey Spoonie! Maybe it's because I went underhand. I'll try overhand, tomahawk style. Oh, that didn't work either. Okay, uh, I guess that's it for these. So uh, thank you for watching. That's been in, uh, what we're talking about here. This has been Internet Personality Evangelist. These were the Crazy Devi Vac Metal Chrome Wings. If you're into this, then the option is there, and it looks like Crazy Debbie's gonna do a Vac Metal Chrome G1 style sword for Feral Rex 2. If you thought the Oppenheimer sword was somehow inefficient or not good enough uh and if they offer to send one of those over i guess i'll take a look at it too and we can uh, we can do a classic corbot v war axe style durability test for that one uh anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you guys around Warbot V style. Let's go. Let's. I could cut something with this, I bet you. Nope.